I've got my maroon and gray on and I'm ready to go bocciing. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker with another edition of Athletes in Action. Is that the growl of the Bruin bocciers here at the county championships on the Old Mill High School turf? Hey, let's go bowling with the Broadneck Bocce Ballers and head coach Greg Barron. The Broadneck Bocce Ball team is Bruin with enthusiasm. The thing about Bocce Ball is that it's a, it really is a level, level playing field. Disability or not, the, the, the game can change on a dime. Um, some of my players with disabilities can outroll my other players any day of the week. We're mostly sophomores and juniors. We have a few freshmen and we have five or six seniors, but we're all kids that really enjoy doing this, so it's a lot of fun. It was actually uh, through Coach that I uh, heard about Bocce. He suggested uh, he suggested people join up and we join up, but um, he's really, he's really, he was really close to all the team members. He, you know, he always comes up, asks us how our day is, always comes up and helps us with our technique. It's fun. I'm not a player on the team. What, what, what's, what's so much fun about Bocce? You meet all the new play. I've been playing for the past four seasons now, and I just love being with my team. They're family to me. Amongst adversity, the Broadneck Ballers have struck closer friendships. A big part of it is the partnership and the friendship that you get when you're working with anything like in unified sports because you become like a family for your team. It really is about building friendships, and you meet all these new people, and you'll see them around school, and you'll say hi to them and it's really you just build relationships here. Our teams are really close. It's all about like learning each other's names, supporting each other. We're always here to cheer each other on and even if someone has a bad role, it's just like high five and move on. We make a lot of new friends when we play and like the special needs kids and the other kids, like we just all get along and we support each other. I love having my teammates around me at all times. They're just a bunch of fun. And we're all supportive of each other. We're like a family. My first two years of high school, I did lacrosse. And uh, coming into my junior year, I was looking for something more of a community feel, something more of an environment. And I, I definitely found that in bocce. We're all kind of together <laughs> all the time. We do everything together. A multi-talented sleuth of Bruins find a way to accomplish success on and off the turf. They're a busy bunch. Um, and yes, they do have to qualify. They they. They need to stay eligible with the, the, the right grade point average. Do your homework, do all of your classwork, get extra help if you need, try doing extra credit to keep your grades up. We don't practice too much, so it's it's easier for me to keep my grades up. And we do, we help each other out with things. It's all about learning respect and setting boundaries to show like no one's any different than you. And we should treat people like people. What do you do so you can keep your grades up? Uh, do your homework. Very good. Anything else in school? Math. It's very important that we communicate to the team that studying, homework, going to see teachers, staying ahead of everything always comes first. Um, and then it's the team. And that's, that's great. And it's what make us, makes us a family, you know, us helping each other in our grades and schoolwork. The ability to stay prepared and focused makes the best bocce baller. It's more about your technique than anything else. You want to have the nice roll you get going and keeping calm and just steady the entire way. We always have to team up together, talk the strategy out. We just talk technique all the time. To put a defining paw print on their season? Just to have a good time. For everybody to, to appreciate the sport and uh, appreciate each other. Make sure that we all actually had a lot of fun this season. We haven't won all that much but I think we've all mostly had fun with it. For me, it would definitely be everything that we do. It would be walking down together, setting up together. Even if it's not playing, it could be just simply helping one another put some like the courts together. I think everyone just working together and getting things done, even if we don't win, it's mostly just being together and making it work. Successful season is definitely not about the winning. The successful team season to me is um, meeting all the new people that come in and the people that I've been on the team for two years now and um, developing even closer um, relationships with everybody. Making friends, having fun, not anything about winning, just having fun. I don't think success is about winning or losing. 
the season's almost over and we haven't won many games, but it's still successful because we had a lot of fun and we made a lot of new friends. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action. <laughs>